you had a 2270 total weighing in at 210 with a 766 squat, a fucking 600 pound bench press, and a 903 deadlift. Yeah, it's all right. And that's <laughs> and that that's that's the best meet you've had to date. Uh, yes, at uh, total poundage wise, I guess like arguably the the one before where I did 2254, whatever at uh when I cut all the way down to 198 is a uh, like a better pound for pound meet, but yeah. Mm-hmm. I got to talk about like the red lights because I watched a couple of review videos. It was already like just screaming in the back of my head as I was watching this. I was like, what is going on? And then I watched Jamal Browner's video covering, you know, the meat and how his lifts went. Um, you were getting like consistent red lights on squats. It looked like they were three inches below parallel. Uh, was it the same judge or do you know what was going on with that? It looked like every uh, lift that looked beyond think- approach was had an issue. I think I only got red lighted on my first squat. There was like one judge that was uh that was pretty strict on depth. Um, it was, it was Garrett Fear, which um I was fine with. I mean, I I got it. So I I think I kind of just like tried to like borderline it on that first one, and then that that kind of like found where my pocket was, and so I just went a little bit deeper on the next two, and it ended up being fine. It was funny because uh, I was talking to um jp price the guy who ran the meet and he he was like directly on the side and he's like honestly your your other two look like the form wise look better when you went deeper anyway so given how the sport is with like different federations and there's always some political angle no matter how object or objective or neutral you think somebody is so you can look at like an spf meet or you know the meets like the west side guys would go into Yep. And you don't know what they're looking for because you'll get squats six inches high, they get passed, and you'll have some that look deeper, they get red lighted. And then you come into a meet like this. Obviously, it's an entirely different thing with uh with sleeves, but um it's gotta be frustrating at some point, given the level that you operate at and how many other things you have to fixate on, that there's still like that wiggle room for inconsistency. Do you run into problems with that? Does that frustrate you at all? Or do you find that it's not really an issue and you can always kind of pull it out when you need it? Yeah, as long as I'm like healthy, it's it hasn't been an issue. I had I had some issues with depth like maybe two or three years ago. Um, I think that was kind of coming back from a, like a sprained MCL or I was just wasn't confident in the hole. Um, but now, now that's not an issue. I'm I'm pretty good about being consistent with my depth where probably like 90% of the judges will, will white light it. So as long as I get like one of the side judges to white light it, um, then I at least know where my my strike zone is. And if I need to drop it just another half inch, it's not, not a big deal. And you've had some issues with like leg injuries. Yeah. Uh, uh, you, you mentioned MCL right there. And I believe you had a quad tear not that long ago. Uh, yeah. So I've been having like issues with basically like on my third squad just to being heavy that always in the hole I feel like a little bit popping on the outside of my quad and I even had that a little bit in this past meet um but it was pretty pretty minor where it didn't affect me for the rest of the meet but have uh you had difficulty like coming back from those types of injuries when they they put you out at all I mean getting confidence to get that weight on your back and get back in the hole like what is your uh your rehab protocol look like uh usually it's it's not too bad as long as I had like time to recover um, but this past meets were back, back to back. It was eight weeks in between. So it, it was kind of just frustrating because I, I was hoping like, okay, maybe like, maybe if I can get back to like a, a 500 pound squat within like three weeks, I'll, I'll feel like good. But it took about five weeks. So then I basically had like three weeks to kind of <laughs> like hit something decent. I basically only went over 700 twice in a prep and it was it's just it's nerve-wracking when you're basically opening with your <laughs> your heaviest attempt or heaviest uh lift are you ever faced with like the temptation to overreach to try to catch up are you pretty good about hitting numbers like what does the peak look like going in when you're in that type of scenario with only a few weeks um this one wasn't too too bad because i kind of i kind of went into it with the mentality of like all right i just want to do enough to to win the meet and um, I didn't, I didn't care too much for hitting like anything like historic. So like right now my big goal is to hit an 800 squad 
uh, 600 bench, 900 deadlift at 198. And um, I, I was like, all right, I know like that's, there's no way I'm going to get back up to like an 800 squat. So like, I'm just going to put that off the table. Um, so I'm just going to do what I need to, um, to win the meet. And if I can get a two and a half kilo PR on squat, perfect, which is exactly what happened.